everyone, it's me again, Teacher She. Today, we are going to discuss about multiplication of integers. But before we discuss about multiplication of integers, make yourself aware the different symbols of multiplication. First, the X, it is the common symbol that we encounter in our lower year. But in grade 7 or to higher level, we avoid using x as multiplication symbol because we also use x as a variable in our topic or in the other lesson. Next, the parenthesis. We also use this as multiplication but be careful because if two parentheses has other operation between them, it doesn't mean that you need to multiply. So, dapat walang operation sa pagitan ng dalawang parentheses para masabi nating yun ay multiplication. Okay? So, next is the dot or the dot operator. It is also used as multiplication. So, now, what are the rules in multiplying integers? Okay, first, when you are multiplying two integers with the same sign, the product is positive. It means if you are uh, multiplying both positive or both negative, so your final answer is positive. Another one is when you are multiplying two numbers with the different signs, the product is negative it means if they are unlike sign the answer is negative but again it is for two integers only now let's have an example eight times five so multiply the two integers so eight times five is equal to 40 and the two integers are both positive so the answer is positive 40 or 40 next Negative 8 times negative 5. Again, multiply the two integers. 8 times 5 is equal to 40. And they are same sign. So, the answer is positive 40. So, always remember that as long as the two integers are same sign, positive man or negative man, the final answer will be positive. Another example, negative 8 times 5. So again, multiply the two integers. 8 times 5 is equal to 40. And they are unlike sign. As you can see, negative yung isa, positive yung isa. So therefore, our final answer is negative 40. The same with the next example, 8 times negative 5. They are unlike signs, so the answer is negative 40. Again, if the two integers are same sign, the answer is positive. If they are unlike sign, the answer is negative. How about if we have more than two integers? So, 2 times 4 times negative 3. So, what we are going to do is multiply first the 2 factor o yung dalawang integers. So, that is 2 times 4 and the answer is 8 because both integers is positive. Then, after that, multiply the product to the remaining factor. Ibig sabihin, yung sagot nating 8 kanina, multiply natin sa natirang uh, integer. So, that is 8 times negative 3. So, the answer is negative 24 because they are unlike signs. So, therefore, 2 times 4 times negative 3 is equal to negative 24. Next example. 4 times negative 3 times negative 5. So, again, multiply 4 and negative 3. So, the answer is negative 12. Then, negative 12 times the remaining factor which is negative 5. So, the answer is 60. Positive 60. Why positive 60? Because negative 12 and negative 3. 5 are same sign so therefore our final answer is 
positive and 12 times 5 is equal to 60 okay therefore 4 times negative 3 times negative 5 is equal to 60 okay last example negative 8 times negative 5 times negative 2 again multiply negative 8 times negative 5 so the answer is positive 40 times 2 is equal to negative 80 so the final answer is negative 80 now it's your turn you can pause the video to answer the activity now let's check that's all for today next lesson division of integers thank you for watching